Research identifies stress unique to college athletes has found that 85% of female and 95% of male student athletes have higher stress levels compared to 52% of non-athlete students. Good morning. My name is Gabriel Campos, and I will be presenting about the negative effects of self-pressure on college soccer athletes. Uh, what are the negative effects of self-pressure on college soccer athletes? Um, that's my research question. So, mental health is one of the causes of the negative effects, which plays a crucial role on uh, college athletes because of all the pressure they feel day to day. Um, they also, uh, there's a large amount of college soccer athletes that do doping and steroids. Um, they also have a decrease in academics, risk of injury, uh, and a decrease in enjoyment of the sport, which lose, makes them lose passion for it. Um, the solution to these negative impacts is that it is crucial to focus on developing a strong mental game for them. This can involve teaching athletes mindfulness and relaxation techniques such as deep breathing and meditation to manage stress and anxiety. Encourage them, encouraging them to set realistic and measurable goals can help them maintain motivation without overwhelming pressure. Additionally, promoting positive self-talk and creating a positive team environment. As we can see in this graph by Aaron Arnstein, uh, mental health, uh, well, mental health in, co in college athletes, um, the female and male um, percentage of how overwhelmed they feel is very large percentage, over 50%, which means that they always feel like they have, always have something that they have to do. They never feel like they have free time. And like they always have to do something every day. Um, then after that, they feel mentally exhausted. Um, females feel more mentally exhausted than men, but they, there's still a large percentage in male, males, uh, college athletes that feel mentally exhausted. Um, they also feel very lonely. Um, uh, they feel hopeless and harm themselves, consider attempted suicide. This can be uh, very dangerous because uh, you never want a college student athlete, which has gone all the way to that pathway to just throw everything away and harm themselves or even attempt suicide. Um, as you can see in this graph by Jim McBee, it shows the different age groups and how many people have been doping. The largest amount of people uh, who have been doping is in the age group between 18 to 24 years old, which is usually when this age gap is where uh, college athletes are in, well, yeah, they're in college, and the margin between all these graphs, comparing them to the 18 to 24 years old, is nowhere to be compared. Uh, it's very, very large on the 18 to 24 years old, which means that college soccer athletes have, have like dope and tried steroids to improve their performance. But this can also lead to legal consequences due to that uh, there's some, there's some, uh, Uh, regulations in the sport that violates the rules um, and it could also affect their uh, uh, body by heart problems, liver damage, hormonal, hormonal ambulances, and psychological effects and it also creates unfair advantage for athletes who use them undermining the principles of fair play. Uh, college soccer athletes academic performance can decrease due to self pressure in several ways. Balancing, balancing rigorous training schedules with academic commitments can be challenging, leading to bad proper time management and resulting in late submission or missed classes. Mental exhaustion from consistently pushing oneself to excel in both areas academically and on the field uh, can manifest difficulty concentrating and memory problems, impacting overall cognitive function. Additionally, athletes who put excessive pressure on themselves to be perfect may, be, may become overly critical of their academic work, leading to procrastination or spending too much time on assignments. It can also create issues like the ability to focus, sleep disturbances, and fatigue. Overall, the pressure to excel in, in both athletic and academics can create a cycle of stress and anxiety that significantly impacts college soccer athletes' academic performance if not managed effectively. Uh, Self-pressure uh, can increase the injury risk for college soccer athletes in several ways. 
Um, college soccer athletes tend to have a feeling that they want to always uh, meet their expectations and always want to work hard. They may train double or triple times a day, which can cause uh, muscle pain, which can also cause them to have fractures and uh, and strains. Athletes who on, athletes under pressure may ignore early signs of injury, uh, such as pain, which can result more into more serious injuries. Anxiety can impair focus and awareness, raising the risk of collisions. Stress can cause muscle tension, affecting the flexibility, increasing, increasing it. Uh, decreased enjoyment. A quote by the article, increasingly more student athletes make it to college than quit, made by Chris Stonovich says, specifically as of 2019, it has been found that 15% of college scholarship athletes voluntarily walk away or forfeit their athletic scholarship, essentially ending their sports career and increasing the cost of their education. Um, this shows how self-pressure can lead to college soccer athletes to quit from their sport career and throw everything away just because of the pressure they feel day-to-day -day life. Um, this quote in the stimulus by Simone Biles and the most uh, and the most human meaning of courage by Marcus Thompson says this quote uh, says in the in the sports landscape courage is this is this idea of preserving through adversity it is facing fear staying down the potential for failure it is refusing to be thwarted by pain doubt or opposition it is overcoming um, this quote resonates deeply with college soccer athletes as it encapsulates the essence of their journey in the context of college soccer athletes uh, the fear of failure is a potent force. College athletes often face immense, immense pressure to perform, both from external sources such as coaches, teammates, and fans, and from within themselves. Uh, the solution to one solution to the fix the negative effects of self pressure in college soccer athletes could be implementing techniques and psychological programs. These programs could include mental skills training such as goal setting, visualization, and stress to help athletes develop strategies to deal with this self-pressure. Uh, one limitation of addressing the effects of self-pressure is the individual variability in how athletes respond to pressure. What works for one athlete may not work for another, so it can be challenging to find universal solutions that effectively address the, di the diverse needs of athletes. Thank you. I got two questions for you, Gabe. First up, uh, what information did you need before you began the whole research process and then how that steer you as you work through it? Well, the information I needed at the beginning was what, what things caused the self-pressure on the college soccer athletes, which led them to like quit the sport or something like that. Okay. And um, if you had more time, what additional research would you have conducted? Um, Additional research. I wanted. I wanted to probably get a perspective from a psycho, a psychologist, a professional, and see what their perspective from, from seeing what the college athletes were going through.